Hello, blessed souls. How y'all doing? If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brainy, and this is Brainy Twin Gemini. If you're returning sub, welcome back. Love to have you as part of our soul tribe and our loving vibe. A little bit about me personally, I believe to be on a sacred twin flame journey. The purest form of love there is out there. I brush shoulders with my twin, I want to say, for a good couple of decades. We are at the same venues, we lived on the same street, we went to the same college, and in 2019, I guess it was divine in, for us to meet in that particular moment in time. However, the love wasn't sustainable. Uh, we went our separate ways to continue on our healing and awakening process, and by the grace of God, we are together this very moment of this very day, and we lived together, but it was a very tough journey while we were physically apart. Um, think of me as just a messenger on this journey, a friend, a guide, a mentor, however you resonate. Everything I do, I do from pen to paper. I always have. I have thousands of pages documented on this journey. And when the pen gets in my hand, it's this like this incredible force takes over and gives me all of these words of truth and wisdom. Hence the reason why I'm here to give you that truth, to give you that wisdom, to give you that guidance, because it is very, very tough. It feels as though someone's ripped your heart out and stomped on it because you have little or no answers when um, you go your separate ways. So I'm merely here just to give you some peace, some guidance, and hopefully some harmony um, within. I predominantly do masculine energy, always have. Um, I kind of channel that masculine energy naturally and automatically and yeah so i'm gonna get started for the month of january starting today if you're a new sub hit the subscribe if you're current um just hit like and comment very important at the end of this week i will draw a very lucky beautiful soul um as a winner and you can pick anything off the grainy groove store merch so anything you want it doesn't matter the price I will announce the winner on Friday. So good luck, beautiful souls. I'm gonna get started. This is a bit of a, a mixed message today. It's all it's always good, but there's sometimes there's a little bit of low vibrational energy, and that's just um, I want to say a precaution. Like look out, keep your your eyes and your ears open, so to speak. As I say that, a crow just flies by. Um, two of them actually. <laughs> it's crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, and crows represent spiritual wisdom, knowledge, um, just very, very, very good, um, very, very good uh, message there. Um, so with the masculine energy, I feel like there's a very significant divine um, protection, however you resonate, whether it's God, divine, universe, angels, however you resonate, but there's something very, very powerful protecting your masculine energy right now. Why is that? It's because there's a bit of a storm warning for the masculine energy. And what this warning is, is um, some of these masculine energies or soul, spirit, souls, um, have really, really struggled with, um, I wanna say addiction and codependency behaviors. And they've been caught in this um, cycle and it's a repetitive cycle most of them have um, jumped off that ferris wheel of I want to say toxic cycles uh, most of them have jumped off but there is um, temptation there and from just I want to say parasites they they see the growth they see the beauty they see how this masculine is evolving and there's some people like almost like pulling on their coattails. They want to pull them back down to their low vibrational level. So this is like a, a bit of a message for you, masculine energy. It could, it could resonate for you too, feminine. Um, absolutely. And I, I always say, don't get caught in that energetic trap. And yeah, and realizing that, you know, not everything will resonate. So kindly just pack away what doesn't. Don't leave negative judgmental comments on the channel because they'll simply be deleted anyway I want to keep the the vibe high it's very supportive so 
if you have feedback for me, just send me an email. But yeah, someone's trying to pull your masculine down to their level, um, uh, but they're on the right path and they're healing incredibly, like just, I want to say quickly and wonderfully and beautifully. Um, and no matter who's pulling on their, I want to say their coattail, their shirt tail, whatever it may be, they're just saying, no, I'm done. I'm finished. But it's a bit of a warning that some of these people um, are, are very manipulative and they want to, they're kind of like, I want to say they're going through all these stops. Like they, they're trying just so hard to bring you back down to their level. Um, because misery loves company, but your masculine has moved on. I just feel like there's someone in your masculine soul tribe, which I wouldn't even consider them a soul tribe. I'd call them the parasite tribe because they're telling them bullshit. Um, you know, and it, it, it is causing a bit of, I want to say confusion. Um, and the masculine's confused right now because whatever um, trauma or cycle they're healing, it is difficult for them. And it's taking them to, I want to say, the dark night of the soul, but the dark night of the soul is so necessary um, because when you go through that, um, you get the greatest wisdom through, I want to say, darkness, believe it or not, honestly. And when you overcome those tower moments and you overcome this, this, this darkness and it will happen, it can, I'm not going to say it will happen. I, it may happen more than once. Um, and why I can't tell you, but there's no written rule. Um, there's no, you know, there's no like university of life. There's really no book of life. We all have our own genetic blueprint and we're, our GPS is very very different even though it's the same um but yeah like there's i feel like there's a little bit of of that going on one thing is this is a message specifically for you feminine energy and um what the ask is is just to at this moment is to love unconditionally without um ask nor condition that's what unconditional love is, but most of all, judgment. Um, you are a mirror soul of each other, and in that mirror, judgments do not exist. So if you're constantly judging um, the masculine, then you'll, you'll, you'll have a block in your connection. Divine will block it, um, because this is a connection free of judgments and ridicule and just labels but what they require at this moment in time is unconditional love and faith to help them overcome this hurdle and the storm warning and your love will help deter them get back on that temple path to the, the love of oneself so very very important message um I want to say that this masculine absolutely knows what this love is. They know it's a love unknown. They know it's the purest form of love they've ever felt. They feel exactly the same way as you do. Um, I'd like to give examples of, of my journey when we were physically apart. And my counterpart always said he could not get me out of his head. The time that we were apart, he did go into a karmic relationship. I didn't know that was God's protection. Um, I was just working on being the best version of myself. And I did go through the dark night of the soul a number of times. I went through many, many bodily, body trembling, um, out of body experiences, just crazy, crazy things. But he did tell me that when we came back into physical harmony, I couldn't get you out. Like, and the exact words that he said to me was, what is this woman? Like, why can't I get her out of my head? And then when we came together, 
um, the first time he mentioned Twin Flames, the very first conversation, I'm like, what the? So they know, they absolutely know. Some of them are so full of ego that it's very hard for them to overcome. So it's easier to like not face up to themselves and the love that they feel because this is a healing journey of trauma, inner childhood wounds, however you resonate, um, awakening, right? So sometimes it can be very overwhelming and it can be very scary. And sometimes we like to remain in what is, what is comfortable, what is complacent. So beautiful, beautiful message. If they could say anything to you right now, what would it be? And it's don't lose faith in our love. That is one of the most fundamental, I want to say, oh, elements of this journey. Do not lose faith. There will be many times on your on your on your path, on your journey, um, where your faith is tested. And it's very natural to get angry. It's very natural to say, I'm done, I'm finished. You do what's right for you. You're never meant to be a prisoner of this love. And if you become a prisoner, then essentially you're, you're kind of abolishing the faith at the same time. You're meant to live the best version of you, get to the best version. And many of you will change your lifestyle erratically and for the better, obviously, but the masculine saying, just please do not lose faith in our love. Um, I, I build a, 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 I dream of us building a life together. I'm just not ready yet. I want to speak to you. I want to talk to you. I just want to yell from the rooftops, the love that I feel for you, but I'm still healing this trauma and these these toxic cycles and very very close to coming to you um they've surrendered to oneself and to the love which um and they want you to know that i have surrendered um that is one of the key i want to say um components of this journey as, a, as well surrendering you're surrendering and not being a prisoner to it and having the faith you know, I read all your comments, I, your emails, I can't always respond to them, I can't always um, comment, but the one message I will give to each and every one of you, follow your gut, your guide, your intuition. You do what's right for you. You know, some, some, some of you ask, well, I don't see it happening in this lifetime, you know, what should I do, should I you know, go on, move on, find karmic love. You do what is best for your soul. If it's not sustain sustainable in this lifetime, you deserve happiness and love. So do what's best for you. Um, and it's beautiful. But if this is truly your journey, um, it will magically come in the way it's meant to. If it is truly your journey, and you follow the right guides. Um, there's people out there that are, are just, just preposterous what they say. Like it's just, I don't know. I, can't, I don't even wanna go there. I don't wanna go down that rabbit hole. Another couple of beautiful messages for your beautiful souls are, don't fear the current changes. All is happening in accordance with your divine plan. The current events are paving the way for a brighter future. Love illuminates all darkness remain positive and light. I cannot express that enough. There is a little bit of darkness. There is a little bit of storm warnings. You may feel it, feminine energy. Love, 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 love. Um, don't fear. This is such a complex journey and the energy that you um, transfer back and forth to each other is very puzzling. And you know, it, it is all happening with your divine plan. If you jump off that Ferris wheel of toxic cycles, if you remain in those toxic cycles, you're just going to remain on that Ferris wheel for a, an indefinite period of time until you feel like it's time to get off and face um, life head on. Be still, listen, feel, and just be. Have you forgotten what is truly important? 
When you pass from this world, all you take it with you is your soul and the beautiful memories it holds. And that's exactly it. This is a soul love. It's eternal. The soul is eternal, if you believe that. And um, have you forgotten what's truly important? You. You, 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 you. You are important. And I love it. And your love is like a burst of sunshine on a cloudy day. Your smile imprinted in my heart. Your beauty reflected by the stars. Your essence is the air I breathe. Now, how ironic is this? Is the burst of sunshine on a cloudy day. And I'm talking about a storm warning. You are each other's ray of light. And it, this is a soul journey and it stems far beyond the physical realm, which this masculine knows. This is far greater than the limitations of this physical world. And they are seeking that unconditional soul love from you. And I love it all so much. As many of you know, well, if you're new, you may not know, but signs and synchronicity, serendipity come each and every day. After you meet, you awaken, you're aware. You notice these things. Nothing is a coincidence in life. It all comes to you at the divine time and the perfect moment of time. Don't go looking for it. You know, don't sit and stare at the clock and wait for 1111 or 1010 or 222 or 333. It will come to you naturally. Um, and animals and whatever. Um, God's artwork comes to you when it's meant to. And the feminine animal spirit message today, and I love this so much, is stag spirit and take the lead. Um, this card, I think, I've been doing this since 2019 because I was pretty much pushed into it um, just to disseminate the lies out there. But this card's only come out twice. This is the second time. And take the lead. You are already in leading in this journey, feminine energy, but right now you, your masculine needs that energetic touch and love and hand to help them up because there are some, I want to say just some toxic people trying to pull them down. Your love is far greater than that toxicity and they need that right now. The masculine animal spirit message today is magic works through you. Magic works for, through both of you. This is one of the most magical blessings, gifts of a lifetime. Um, experiencing the purest form of love out there. There's love. There's karmic love. There's soulmate love. There's all sorts of love. You love your animals. You love your children. You love, 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 love. But nothing as pure as this. It's pure. It's meant to bring you back to your purity and your innocence so that you can do greater good by the world. You're a powerhouse and I love it all so much. And the overall, and I cannot believe this came out, I knew 100% this was going to come out today. I always like know what's going to come before it comes. And it's the overall um, energy message, animal message for the Twin Flame Collective is Swan. And I love Swans so much. And it's time for a deep dive. Swans are very, very beautiful. And they're very representative of this journey because they made for life. Um, and I just had this very, very, like, I just knew this was going to come out. To me, this is also um, a message like, you know, look around, take that deep dive within yourself. Listen to your gut your intuition, whatever. There's no right or wrong here. Um, there's only the the right way is the, the destination to self-love. The wrong way is self-destruction. Um, so take that inner look and in, within your soul and everything will just magically work out to your favor. So that's what I have for you beautiful souls today. If any of this resonates, kindly hit the subscribe if you haven't already, like, comment, Love to read your comments. Have a beautiful day, folks.